Well, we, we all know summer is one of the most important aspects of getting ready for football season. Um, summer starts in June, you know, it's long days and early mornings and everybody getting after it. Um, our summer, you know, went pretty good for the most part. We was right at about 90, 90%, 90% attendance. You know, the guys are working hard. And, you know, I'm excited for our group, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball. It's a lot of those guys, first time, a lot of new faces. Uh, so I'm excited to see them, you know, get out there and fly around. I thought we had a great summer. Um, we were just about 100% participation this summer. Our guys came every day, read the word, grind, do everything that the coaches asked. Um, thought that, you know, things couldn't be any better. Just right now, just getting prepared for the first game on, on Friday of this year. Uh, very good. Uh, we had pretty much uh, probably 90% of uh, participation uh, each day. Uh, we did a pretty good job of uh, identifying uh, this summer on uh, the guys that really uh, wanted to be a part of the high school. And, uh, and the most important thing, uh, I think, uh, this year uh, that we got uh, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more depth than we had last year. Last year we were only, we only had 43 kids, and this year we got a little bit more. So I think that will show uh, show a lot in the uh, first game that we played. That we got a little more depth what we can serve in and out. Well, for us this summer, it was just about getting stronger, getting faster. Um, just making sure that we understand the details of the football uh, football game. Um, I have a lot of young players, so summer was very, very important for us because we need to, to make sure those guys understand what varsity football is all about. Um, you know, you get some guys come up from junior high and they don't understand the speed of the game. So we try to get those guys caught up on the speed of the game, uh, get them understanding what, what, what high expectation is at the young high school, um, focusing on loving each other and being a family. Um, my guys showed up this summer, each one of them was in that weight room every day. So just for the accountability part, uh, we passed the test this summer. So now it's just about us focusing on our, our details when we get ready to play a ball game. Um, all the other stuff doesn't matter if we're not focused on our details. So that's pretty much what, what we talked about all summer is just staying focused, staying mentally tough, um, doing the things that we feel like other people don't want to do um, to get better. And I feel like we did that this summer. Well, our summer was very active. Our summer was getting back to the basics. We, were, we weren't blessed to play a spring game. We got rained out. So we had to schedule a lot of OTA. We got involved in passing league. We went to several passing camp. So we could actually get some kind of, um, some kind of feel for how our guys might act when the season starts. So, I mean, just like any other program, we're going to hit the weights. We're going to run the condition, but it was more so getting some live reps versus the other team. We're bringing in some guys that's a key position, and we had to make sure that our guys were ready to, uh, to perform. Well, going into week one, you know, over the summer, like we say, everybody, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You have a lot of things you're trying to get in, and installation and, and whatnot. Uh, but moving into week one is when you really try to narrow it down and kind of focus on the mentality that you want your guys to have going into it. Um, week one versus JD, fortunate to be you know playing the kickoff classic. I have a lot of respect for Coach Carter and the staff and those guys over there. Um, we're excited about week one, and uh, you know we can't wait to get after it. Thursday. Um, you know, thought we had a great uh, week so far. Just trying to continue to prepare for the um, league. Um, a team that's real good. They have beat us for the last six years since school existence. And you know, just the biggest thing is just talking about the little things that we did wrong year by year. And the biggest thing is just try to correct those mistakes so that we can have a pretty good game on Friday. Uh, basically what we've been preparing to do is just make sure our guys are playing with speed, playing with passion, and understand that, uh, they, that, they, that they need to be coachable and care about their assignments throughout the game. Um, that's going to be a big key point to make sure our guys have, have been taking coaching and um, take, out, take out their assignment to the best of their ability. And, uh, uh, we, we are excited about playing Park Carson. They're one of the best teams in uh, the state of Alabama. And uh, excited again to, uh, to be uh, competing against Coach Harris. I think he does a great job. I think he's always been an outstanding coach. So uh, I'm ready to uh, get a chance to compete against him on Friday night. Well, we've just been trying to establish a mindset in practice. Um, as you know, anytime we practice, uh, high intensity has to be high. Um, I coach my guys a little harder in practice. Uh, we, we, we tend to say that we do things right the whole week and we, we can get a victory on, on Friday and Thursday. And that's our mindset. That's been our mindset for the last three years. Um, get yourself prepared mentally for practice. 
physically for practice, do the things you need to do to be explosive on Thursday and Friday night so you can play fast. Um, no coach up here wants their players to be out there thinking. We want you reacting to what we're doing. That's why we try to rep, 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 rep. That's one of our concepts. Uh, don't, don't take a playoff. You know, uh, make sure you're doing everything you can to get better on that play. And also, we just try to stay within the moment. Um, we, you know, we talk a lot about playing the next play. Stay within the moment. Play the next play. Don't worry about what happened. You know, two plays ago, the play before that. Just get yourself in a position where you're ready for the next play. And uh, I think that's what's going to make us be successful on Thursday night. Well, the biggest game in the season is going to be from week one to week two. Week one is always going to be filled with a lot of mistakes and a lot of errors. Uh, the team that you're successful is a team that can overcome those mistakes uh, or overcome that adversity. Uh, we don't talk about too much about winning the game. We talk about not losing the game. You lose the game by not doing what your coach to do. You lose the game by not executing the block, dropping balls, putting the balls on the ground. So that's the thing that we've been preaching uh, and harping on heavily this week here. We got all the respect in the world for uh, Coach, I mean, for Coach Thompson and Carver. We know, hey, they're going to come out ready to play. We know that they're talented. But our job is, you know, if we play Jeff Davis football, I think we have a chance. To all the students, faculty, all the fans, the alumni, the supporters of Carver High School football, you know, we thank you. Um, we, we admire your continued support. You know, we love you. Stay tuned this season. Uh, big, big game on Friday. Um, I think the biggest game in the city this year um, to be Park Cross and Lee High School. No, no knock on no other program, but it's our first game, and we just want to go out and just have a great season. Like I tell them, you know, how you start the season, how you should end the season. And hopefully we can come out and store strong. All right, all of me, uh, family, uh, just please come out and support the guys. Uh, I think we're going to have a very successful season this year, so come out and just give those guys your support. Uh, Silver and Neil fans, uh, come out and support the young guys. They'll put in a lot of work this summer. Um, we need that energy in the stadium. Um, when, usually when we have a crowd, we play pretty good. Um, so come out and support the fellas. They'll, they'll, they'll really, uh, really, really like that. Thank you. Football's back. Uh, you got five Alabama State Hornets leading programs here in the city once again. Uh, so here's how the weekend's going to go. Thursday, you come to Crampton Bowl, you watch Jeff Davis take on Cart. Friday, if you don't go to Mobile and watch Lanier, come to Crampton Bowl and you can check out Park Crossing and you can check out Lee High School. Hey, to the Vol Nations, we look forward to seeing you. To the Vol fans, we look forward to seeing you.